guys, welcome to Wrestling Figure Wednesday. Today I will be reviewing the Mattel WWE Elite Series 39 Flashback British Bulldog figure. This is the first series of 2016. It did release pretty quickly at the end of 2015. Uh, you can get it on ringsidecollectibles.com and amazon.com and I know it hasn't surfaced in stores yet but by the time you see this it very well might. But uh, it has an all new packaging design as you can see which I really like a lot. I think it looks really cool and I think it helped reduce some of the packaging costs by cutting that little corner there. Possibly, I have no idea, I'm just assuming that. Um, but I really like the new design. It has a cool Legends logo here and it will be different for every guy based on what era he's from and what show and whatnot. So that's really cool. So that being said, let's take a look at the British Bulldog fresh in the packaging. As you can see, it's his highly detailed action figure. There's a Legends WWE logo. Here's British Bulldog with his flag behind him. It says includes entrance cape. Yes, it's his cape, excuse me. Uh, there's Elite Collection flashback logo and it says British Bulldog. On this side, it has the WWE logo, British Bulldog, and a picture of him there. And the same on this side, and then it has the WWE logo and British Bulldog down there, and the Elite Flashback logo. Looking at the back of the box, the carding looks really nice. Um, I really like the design of this a lot. Um, there's Elite logo, British Bulldog there. It says British Bulldog. has a little bit of information about him. Also in the set is Sting, Dolph Ziggler, Damian Mizdow, The Godfather, and Psycho Sid, and some company information listed at the bottom. So that being said, let's take a look at him fresh out of the packaging. Alright guys, so here we have the Elite 39 British Bulldog figure fresh out of the packaging. Overall I'd say it's a pretty nice figure, there's a lot of nice detail. Uh, the only flaw that I've really noticed with it is the paint apps. Um, there's a lot of little missing bits of his hair and stuff that I noticed that wasn't painted or had white spots where the tips of his braids are. Um, even the tips of his braids, right, the beads and stuff are, are not fully painted, so I'm going to have to touch him up. I already touched up some of his hair before I showed him to you up close on camera. Um, also his flag has a few dings and stuff in it, so if you see him at the store, do your best to examine him uh, before buying if you're really anal about that stuff. Especially I am for my photography and things like that. But I did touch him up a little bit, which was good, but I still need to touch up the white uh, beads, as I said. But anyway, um, his cape is pretty cool. It's a thin rubber. Um, I was kind of hoping that the bands to hold it were elastic, as the way they did it. It's kind of a pain in the butt to get on and off. It fits on them nicely, that's for sure, but uh, just be uh, patient putting it on, um, as it's like the shirts and stuff where it has little knobs that latch into the holes on the rubber uh, fake clothing, so to speak. So I'll show you that first. I want to show you his cape first before I remove it, but it is a really cool accessory. It looks really nice displayed, as you can see. Um, he just looks really good, like this. Here's a flag up close. I'm not sure if you could see some of the little paint mishaps with mine. There's little dings and stuff in it like there on the red and whatnot. But that's with any figure. It's really hard to get a perfect figure anyway. Um, but looking at this you could see it's a thin rubber that locks around each wrist and his neck. And there's little holes for each one that you just pop out right there. And then right here. So to get him out of this, just do it slowly. You just push it, basically unlatches it. And then with his neck, you could just pull it like that and lift his hair up to get it out from underneath. And there you go. So I'll just show you the latches really quick so you can see what they look like without being around him. So you just gotta lock the little knobs into the holes there to secure it onto him. Now looking at him, here's a new head scan with his longer hair. 
which is cool. You can see all the beads and stuff, as you can see, it's missing some paint and whatnot. So, if you're anal like me about your figures, you'll want to touch it up. But the touch up I did to his hair looks pretty good. I just took a little thin brown sharpie to color in his hair. Um, but he has ball jointed head that goes up and down as well as left and right. He has a typical elite ab crunch joint. Ball jointed arms that go up and down as well as outward. He has swivel bicep joints, typical elbow joints. He's got his white uh, wrist slash arm tape, whatever you really want to call it. It says bull on that side and dog on this side. He has a swivel wrist joint as well as a hand joint that goes up and down. Looking at his lower torso, you can see all the detail in his tights and whatnot. He has a swivel waist joint. It says British Bulldog on that leg. There we go. And it says Bulldog on the back there. Lots of cool detail on his attire. I really like that. Um, but he has ball jointed legs that go up and down as well as outward. He has swivel thigh joints double jointed knees. As you can see the paint is kind of a an issue on this figure so maybe later releases of it will be a little bit better. I don't know. Just be very careful with it. And then he has a swivel boot joint. He has the tall boots. You can see the detail in his laces and wrinkles and whatnot to make them look authentic. And then he has a typical elite ankle joint that goes up and down. And then a little ankle pivot joint as well. And yeah, that's British Bulldog. Very cool figure. If you missed out on the first one for sure, I recommend getting this one as that one came out forever ago. And this one is a totally different look too, which is really nice that they did that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to like Wrestling Figure Wednesday on Facebook to suggest future reviews you'd like to see me do, and I'll see you next week. Thanks. Like this video? Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more. And check out my latest videos. For all your wrestling figure needs, check out ringsidecollectibles.com. Want to spice up your wrestling figure arena? Check out extremesets.com. Like wrestling? Tune into The Rack, Thursday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern on wildtalkradio.com.